According to the traditional Chinese lunar calendar, the hottest time of the year is Sanfu, also known as the Chinese Dog Days. This period usually refers to a period of time in the Northern Hemisphere between July and August that lasts for about 30 or 40 days. Hi, I'm Greg, a Canadian living here in Hong Kong. Sanfu was the hottest period of the year and it's been celebrated and observed for thousands of years. According to traditional Chinese medicine, we can harness the summer heat to ward off winter diseases well in advance. So today, I've come to a traditional Chinese medical clinic to talk to Mr. Chan, find out how it works. Let's go. Ah, oh, Mr. Chan. Hey, I'm Greg. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Eric, a traditional medicine practitioner in Hong Kong. So Mr. Chen, um, according to Chinese medicine, uh, what are the best ways that we can protect ourselves from winter diseases during these couple of days? Yeah, we have a Tanjo Mosebushin. So Tanjo is also known as Heavenly Mosebushin. It's a traditional Chinese medicine therapy that can utilize the warm properties of Mosa to improve your various health conditions. And also, Sanfu is uh, very hot. It's the hottest day of the year. So we believe that summer is associated with Yang Qi. It is making uh, an ideal time to have, to improve your body's Yang and also dispel the cold and dampness accumulate during winter. Mm -hmm. There you go. Makes sense to me. So we can have your diagnosis now. Take your pulse first. Okay. Another hand. Okay, maybe show your tongue. Some dampness in your body. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, and maybe your digestive system is maybe a little bit not enough. So okay. it is easy to feel hungry and want to eat food. So you can have the tangible therapy for the for your body condition. Okay, yeah, let's try it. Mr. Chan, what are the ingredients in the dressing? We usually use some herbal medicine which can unblock the meridian, open the orifices to improve your body, such as some Sichuan pepper or cinnamon, ginger or white mustard seed. And what are the effects exactly? So it is particularly used to improve your body qi, strengthen your vital qi. Okay. improve the circulation and enhance your immune function. So it is particularly effect to the condition related to cold and dampness. Yeah. Oh, okay. And are there any precautions? Any Precau things we need to be careful about when we're doing this? Remember to not take shower or and keep warm within two hours after removing the plaster. Okay. And if you have some slightly itchy redness or even some pigmentation it is normal because it, it will recover within two days okay. uh, and also for a better medicinal efficacy so we can have a healthy diet for example less dry less cold makes sense okay i'll remember that so we first form the arm here we we'll stick one it will feel warm, maybe some... A little bit warm, yeah. yeah. It feels a little bit warm. Maybe some itchy. Okay, so three on each arm? Yeah. Now for the other one. So how long do we leave these on for? For you, your first time, maybe 20 to 30 minutes is enough. Go on for the knee. So for knee, for the leg, each leg will true. Okay, it's finished. Okay, great. So far, so good. It's uh, it's a little bit itchy, but overall, it's, uh, it's actually very nice and warm and feels pretty comfortable. So Eric, um, what's the logic behind putting the moxibustion on the arms and the legs? So for our Chinese theory, medicine theory, we believe there are some merid meridian on our body. So we can follow the using the medicine, using the medicated plaster to remove your some dampness or cold inside Gosh. your body. So each plaster is related to the dedicated meridian. Eric, during uh, Sanfu, apart from the moxibustion, what are some other ways we can look after our health? Sanfu is the hottest day of the year. So although the summer is very hot, we still have to control our diet because our digestive system is very weak in summer. 
so we can reduce our digestive burden by drinking less coal, eating more vegetables which have more water inside such as white squirrel, lover, and also we can drink some soups such as green bean soup to clean in our summer heat. Curing winter diseases in summer is a traditional Chinese medicine maxim. This means that Sanfu is not only the hottest three days of the year, it's also a great time to ward off winter diseases. But you don't have to take my word for it. Uh, feel free to try for yourself.